Just like I'm allowed to use any power up that Samantha gives me, like nukes and stuff, this is technically a drop that she gives us. Oh crap, monkeys. I'm turning that on to hopefully protect PhD Frappa. Don't know how good it would be. Okay. Crap. This gun is not that good whenever it comes to um, killing the monkeys. This is not a good gun to kill monkeys with. Okay, is there any more monkeys coming? Hold on. I hear one coming. What? Okay. Okay. Either that trap just messed the monkeys up, or they only sent two monkeys that round. I'm kind of confused right now. There was only two monkeys that I had to kill. That trap must have went ham on the zombies, on um, the monkeys. Wow. I've never had a trap on this map do that much damage to the monkeys to where I only have to kill two of them. And one of them spawned in where Quick Revive was. They even spawned near the trap. That one monkey somehow made it past the trap though. But that was awesome. I got stamina up though. Not really something I wanted, but it'll help, I guess. And good news is, until I open up to Claymores, they won't be able to steal stamina up for me. I'll probably be opening it up sooner or later, because I do need to go pack a punch, and I do need to open up that area. Holy crap, that's a lot of crawlers. Oh, max ammo. How come I always get max ammo after the, um, um, the, um, monkey round? Always happens. I always get a max ammo after, well, during the special round, I guess. It's not just the monkeys. It also happens with dog rounds and all that stuff. Every time a special round happens, I always get the max ammo, of course. And then the next round... Within the first few zombies, I get another max ammo. It's weird. I believe this is the last little bit. I love that. That is so awesome. Let's do it again. Oh crap. That was a fail. Okay. This gun creates a lot of crawlers though. I've noticed that much. Well, we're on round 11 already? Where are these rounds gone? I had no idea I was already on round 11. Can you please die? There we go. Whoa, that's a lot of crawlers. Jeez. How much crawlers do I need? Oh, crap. Let's just go ahead and take this. I need to go ahead and unlock Pack-a-Punch. Because I do need to Pack-a-Punch this before the monkeys come next. Because like I said, the crossbow, not cutting it. I need this gun for the monkey rounds. That would just help me out so much. This challenge has worked, has worked perfectly so far. Except for getting stamina up. I mean, that's not a huge deal, but... Kind of did not want stamina up that much. I kind of wanted to get speed cooler more than stamina up. But whatever. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to place these to protect stamina up. I've never got all the pokes on this map. I kind of want to try and do that. But don't really know how that's going to work. 
I mean, I've got two free perks from the monkey so far. That's more than I usually get. Usually I get at most one perk. And that's usually like something stupid like Mule Kick or something. For free. But, that means I also cannot buy, um, Speed Cola, sadly. I kind of wanted to buy Speed Cola, but now I can't. But that's fine. I can always hope to get Speed Cola from the monkeys. I mean, I've got Juggernaug and Quick Revive covered. I can easily cover them. I just need Claymores to protect PhD proper and stamina. If the monkey or if the Claymores can protect those two perks and I can protect Jug and, Jug and Quick Revive, that'll work out so good. That'll be perfect. There's so many crawlers. How many crawlers do I need? I mean, seriously. The only two perks I don't have is Mule Kick and Speed Cola, though. I could use both of them. I kind of want to get a third explosive in case I run out of ammo or these two get boring or something. Okay, I do want to shake things up a little bit. Better stop before the zombies kill me. Because there's a bunch of crawlers. I don't want to waste a bullet. Plus, I want to keep one. Oh, crap. I'm just trying to build up points right now. There we go. Okay, I believe that's the last crawler. I just wanted to build up some points real quick off them. Um, yeah, there's no more over there. Okay. So that's it. Now we got two more doors to open to get to the final um, thing. The final lander, and then hopefully we'll be able to pack a punch next round. They will hopefully not spawn too many zombies over there by stamina up to blow up my claymores. Of course, I can't place any claymores down by PhD just yet. Because, of course, um, they will just blow up the claymores at PhD before the monkeys come. So, I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is just go a couple more rounds, play some more claymores at stamina up, and then the round before the monkeys, or the round that I think will be before the monkeys, I'll place those claymores down at PhD, and hopefully I'll protect those. And hopefully we'll get Speed Cola next. Because that would be helpful. At the end of this round, I'll just save a zombie and go play some more by stamina. You know what? Let's just do that and quickly run over here. So we know no more will spawn. And that did not even kill the zombie. There we go. Nice. I want to go up here and see if there's a drop. No, there's not. Okay. So we are good. I should be able to pack a punch this round. And then once I pack a punch, I'll definitely pack a punch Mustang as, or the M1911 to get Mustang and Sally first. And then I'll focus on pack a punch in this. I don't know if the crossbow bolt affects the monkeys. Like whenever I pack a punch it, I don't know if the monkeys will go after it also. I don't think they do, but I've never tested it before. So you never know. They may do it. We'll just see, I guess. I'll test it whenever I pack a punch this next time the monkeys come. I may pack a punch both of these before the next monkey round. Hope so. Okay, those are the zombies. Wow. This crossbow is just awesome. I love it. Once you get PhD proper, this crossbow is just so fun to use. Okay. Are they spawning? Yep. I just saw another one spawn. Okay, so we pretty much got enough to pack a punch the um, M1911. So we'll focus on doing that at the end of this round. 
I don't think we'll have enough to pack a bunch of both of these, sadly. Yep, I think this is the last bit of zombies. Wow, this thing just creates a bunch of crawlers. And I mean a bunch. Oh, what drops that? Insta kill? Yeah, let's just pick up, I guess. Hopefully I don't get a nuke. That would suck. And there we go. One more zombie. And we'll probably be able to blow up the ro the rocket with the crossbow. And that, I believe, gives you free double points. Which is not very helpful, but... Whatever. I love how I just skipped four. Is it going to blow up? No. I think I just wasted two bullets. But whatever. And now we got Mustang and Sally. Okay, nice dialogue. Okay, so let's go make sure those claymores are still there. I don't think they'll spawn over here if you're over there at the lander, but I, you never know. Um, no, they're still here. Plus, they're way back here, so I don't think they're going to be getting to the zombies. Okay, let's just... Place one right here, so we can hear the monkeys coming, and then we can place one right here, so we know they survived the first one, and then they'll head into stamina. Okay, so, time to go another round. Oops, <laughs> well, that was a direct impact. Out of crossbow bullets, sadly. And yes, I know it's bullets, I'm just going to keep on calling it bullets. For no reason. I love that. Peach Defrop is so awesome. I better stop that. I'm gonna wind up dying by doing that. The zombies are gonna wind up cornering me and I'm not... Or I'm gonna fail the dolphin dive and just get owned by the zombies. Please stop hitting me. I do not like being hitted. Thank you and good night. Okay, I'm just going to wait for all these zombies to spawn in real quick. And kaboom. They're all dead. Mustang and Sally's are just so epic. I love them. No guns. No problem. Okay. I'm trying to find good... To trying to think of good topics to talk about while I'm just training the zombies up here. Because this is probably going to be where I spend most of my time. I definitely need to think of topics to keep you guys entertained while I kill some zombies with explosive weapons. That's what that zombie looks like. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and put it right here. And right here. Okay. Is it going to be monkeys? Find out next time. I don't know if that's going to be where I cut it off at or not. No, it is not monkeys. Okay, good. No monkeys yet. It may be monkeys next round, though. But I don't really need to p place any claymores next to um, 
Jug or Quick Revive says I'm going to be camping there anyway to kill the zombies. They shouldn't get past me at all. Should just be e easy, able to easily kill them. My words are just not coming to me tonight. I know a topic we could talk about. So, um, since The Walking Dead ended about a month ago, I've been trying to find some, um, different shows to watch. Well, um, that I can watch and keep me entertained till The Walking Dead comes back on in October. So, I've been watching some different shows. Um, I know Breaking. Oh, I just heard Claymore go off. I know Breaking Bad ended, but I've been. Watching that. I never watched Breaking Bad whenever it was on live TV on AMC, but I've been watching that recently. Um, started watching like a week ago, already on season 4, episode 4, I believe. And that show is just amazing. A lot of people have been telling me to get to start watching it. There's an amazing show. And I never thought it would be that good, but I'm really enjoying it. Been watching it a lot recently, and... It's just an amazing show. Now, if you don't watch it, then definitely get into it. Like, you will not be disappointed. Yep, that Claymore went off. Oh, that was already Claymore there. Whoopsie. I missed. How did I miss? Carpenter. Okay. It may be monkeys this time. Yep. Okay, I'll continue my story after the monkey round. I need to concentrate right now. Okay, got that monkey. I'm gonna turn this trap on again. Did some work last time I did it. Okay, no monkeys there. Yep, I knew you passed. Okay, no monkeys there. My trap's going to work up there. Okay. Oh, wow! Okay then, that's a good strategy. That is a good strategy for the monkeys. You know what, I'm going to start using that a lot more often. I never knew about that strategy with the monkeys. To use that trap, use a bunch of claymores and all that stuff. The monkeys don't even stand a chance. Whenever you have all that. But now we got Mule Kick, so we could try and get a third explosive weapon, hopefully. Which also means I need to start trying to protect Mule Kick. Because the only perk I don't have is Speed Cola, so I need to try and get Speed Cola. Wow, this is the first time in history I've ever had more than four perks on this map. I just always suck so bad at the monkeys, but I never knew about that strategy. Turn on that trap, and let it go ham. That's basically the strategy. Place a couple claymores at PhD, place a couple at stamina, place a couple at mule kick and speed cola, and then you'll be good to go after that. That's a good strategy. I'm gonna start using that a lot more often. A nuke? We got enough to pack a punch the crossbow now. I may go ahead and do that actually. Let's just go ahead and pick up this. But yeah, continue on my story. Basically, if you don't know what Breaking Bad is, it is... Oh, crap. It is about this chemistry teacher who um, just found out that he had stage 3 lung cancer, I believe it is. I believe it's stage 3, at least. But um, he finds out that he only has a f so much longer to live. Like, the doctors only gave him, like, two months to live, so... He basically was to li leave something for his family... So, um, he actually hooks up with his old student, um, and he starts selling meth. 